Hello, my Spares. This is Keisha Simsima. Hey, Keisha. And let me just come a little bit closer because I realize that my voice is too low and I don't have a mic. And um, I just wanted to do a video. This is probably my fifth time and I'm getting a little bit frustrated, but I know it's the devil. So I'm just going to rebuke him in the mighty name of Jesus. I, I know it's him. Um, so if you'd like to see what I have to say, stay tuned. It will be a blessing. So guys, I'm here to just relate a message that I got and I know I got it because I got it and someone else got it, which is a confirmation. So I just wanted to relate a message of this season, this COVID-19, this whatever is going on in the world right now, it's time for preparation. Some people would call it time for reflection time for to reset or god is resetting this hurt he said to me it's time for preparation this season it's time for preparation we need to start preparing ourselves because it's not finished this is only the icing on the cake it's not finished there is more to come if we are not if we don't hear his word and if we don't turn away from our wicked ways, there is more to come. I heard locus, locus. I personally don't know what it is. It's possibly worse than what COVID is. So we need to start listening, stop judging, and start doing what we are here to do, our purpose, the main purpose for our lives that he brought us here on earth to do. We need to focus on that. And the other thing is, he said that there's a lot of us that acknowledge him, that acknowledge the fact that he's God, that he sent his son to die on the cross for us. And we believe that, but we're bound physically. We are bound. We are bound physically. Our voice is not hearing a lot of our voices. Our hands, we're not touching people's lives and we're not given to those that are in need or feet or physical being is not connected to what our mind believe so this is a time of preparation to prepare ourselves for the worst that is about to come he is coming soon but there's many other things that is coming before him look us we need to start preparing ourselves we need to reach out to those that don't understand. We have to pray for understanding. So those that don't understand will be able to get the understanding. We need to take the streets. There's lots of people that's been doing it already. We need to take the street. We need to cover our land spiritually, spiritually, spiritually. We should not be put in any idols before him not worshiping any idols not worshiping any money not worship any statues not worship any other god we need to do a 360 and turn away from our wicked ways stop being a church goer stop being a church goer don't go to church and say i am holy just because i believe but we're not physically in tune spiritually in tune he needs us to stop it and stop it right now and prepare ourselves for the worst that is supposed to come i hope you guys take heed this is where i'm gonna stop but i hope you guys take heed myself taking heed and just pray this is time this time that we get it's not just to sit at home pondering wondering for myself i thought what's the point of getting up I'm getting up to do the same exact things. I can't look forward to any plans. I can't make any plans and look forward to anything. Like, what is the point? What the point of this is, we need to start seeking God constantly, praying both day and night and reaching out to Him and prepare ourselves 
physically or what is to come before his coming. Hope you guys have a great day, a great week, and a great month.